Hey guys, it's Rachel at From Moments to Milestones and we are doing 12 tags of Christmas today. Um, this is our kit uh, we had class a couple weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to the video. But um, we used this 6x6 mega paper pad from Echo Park, Christmas Salutations. And we created 12 tags, they're about three by six roughly in size. Um, there's instructions for each tag as always, and a list, I believe, at the end of what we used. So, we are just going to dig right in. We're going to start with this tag right here. Sending the warmest of wishes to you and yours. So, so of these 12 tags, there's probably four to six that are a little bit more involved. And then the others are real simple and show you how to use this, uh, the remainder of your pad. So um, a lot of three by four cut aparts or three by three cut aparts in that pad. So you could really um, put a lot of tags together out of it or cards. All right, so we're gonna start with this. We're going to put this black and white snowflake paper onto this tag. And we're gonna trim around the excess. Um, one thing is these tags came with a red reinforcement circle. It rips off fairly easily, or you can leave it on if it doesn't bother you. Sometimes if I'm gonna cover it up, I just don't want the bulk there, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear it off, but I am going to add the adhesive onto the tag. And I know it didn't go all the way down. And then I will put this paper on it. And I'm gonna line it up with one side so I can save myself a cut. So we will line it up this side. All right, and then I'm gonna take a straight edge scissors or you could use a paper trimmer, whatever you're most comfortable with. And I'm just gonna trim off from the back. And then the other thing you need to do, which I did not bring in here, I'm gonna have to go get it, is a hole punch, because anytime we cover it up, we're gonna have to re-punch that hole, so I will be right back. Okay, so this is the hole punch I use. This is a We Are Memory Keepers hole punch. It has five different sizes. I actually use the largest, which is a 5 8 hole punch. Now, if you don't have a 5 8 hole punch, that's okay. Just your standard office quarter inch hole punch will do. This is what we used in class, and it works just fine. It, the hole's just, you know, slightly smaller, and it's totally fine. Okay, so we have our hole punched. And I'm going to go ahead and you, I have a white reinforcement circle, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, so I'm going to put on the white. Man, my glue is just got bubbles galore. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I need tweezers. So I put on my white reinforcement circle. Okay. And now we're gonna build up the rest of it. So let's see here. So you have this sending the warmest of wishes to you and yours, and this is how we're gonna strategically cover the bottom of our tag. So I'm gonna do my, one of my favorite little tricks, which is to put some adhesive on the back. I'm just gonna use a strip of paper instead of a whole bit of it. And I'm going to just give it a little border of that color. Okay, I'm going to do that to the top and the bottom. So this black paper that we're using also came from the paper pad. So I was definitely trying to conserve um, the paper. So that's why we're using a strip instead of a whole piece. All right. 
Make sure that's lined up. There we go. All right. So it's a little big on this, or a little long on this side, so I'm going to trim that. And now this is going to go right at the bottom of our tag. go and then you have the gold wishes die cut that is going to go right in the center of that so I'll put that on there we go and then we have these little snowflakes which are on post-it here which looks like it may have some press and seal on top as well all right So I have a small one down here, and a small one, and a larger one. All right, right there. All right, so now we are going to place this circle. So you may have both your circles, they're not cut perfectly, which is okay, because we're gonna hang them off the side anyway. So I'm gonna start by placing this black side on to the gold. Obviously put my cut ends both to the same side. So you have a thin gold border. Okay. And then that is going to go in the center and then it's going to slightly hang off like so. So I'm actually gonna put the snowflake on first. So I know how much I want it to hang off. And this black paper, if even though this glue dries clear, um, it will leave behind a mark if you touch it. I don't know if you can see right there I touched it, so you might just want to be careful of that if you don't want dark marks on that. So I'm just going to center it on the circle. See, just like I did right there. Now you can see those little lines of glue coming off. That's okay. It's a handmade tag. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I did pop up this round part. So I think I will use some foam strips here. Tear off the backing. And if you don't want the dimension, you can just glue it straight down. That's fine too. All right, and I'm just gonna put it on here centered like so. And then what I'm going to do is take my straight edge scissors and just trim that off. Perfect. All right. One little couple finishing touches. We need to add this gold snowflake to the center. You can line it up however you like it. Put it straight on like that. And then we're going to finish with our ribbon. So I am just going to put this ribbon through and tie a knot and finish the ends. Like so, and like so, and like so. And that tag is finished. One down, 11 to go.
Our next tag is Ho Ho Ho. pieces here and put together our Santa. So I think we'll start with that part. So you have these pieces here and then you should have a hat and some portions of a hat or another whole white hat, however your kit got cut. So we're going to start with, and I did on the, on the actual tag here I used tattered rose and um, a little mini dauber and put the pink. I'm actually going to try colored pencils today because I didn't bring the ink here with me so I'm just going to make his um, cheeks. I'm just going to color in a little bit of this peachy color and then I'm going to do the same. This is his nose on this post-it and it's upside down color the right side and I'm just gonna add a little color on top so it doesn't look like his mustache and the same here on his mouth okay so you can see those little touches and now we're gonna layer him up so we'll start with Santa's face so right underneath I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. These are his eyebrows and they're embossed. And then here is the faintest embossed line, little half moons. And that is where these little black eyes are going to go, right under the eyebrows. So I'm going to put a dot of glue on each one. And then get these little half moons off the post-it. Stick them on there. And if you don't get it on, nobody's going to know. You can hardly see them to begin with. So it's just a guide. All right, so there's his eyes. All right. And then the beard is going to line up sure I'm on camera here it's gonna line up like so so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue like that and line up his beard it kind of lines up so it makes this natural curve on both sides all right and then we're gonna put his little mustache and nose so I pop this piece up so I'm just gonna take a little a little foam square, maybe two. I'm going to put one in the center and I think I'll cut one in half. And then put one over here and one over here. Fill off the backing, and then this goes, it matches right up with his, with that mustache. And then I am going to put his little nose on. There it is. All right, so now we're gonna put the white trim on his hat. So this is the other portion of the hat and there is a, a very kind of faint line you can follow to cut that out. Okay, and then that is gonna get glued right onto the red. And this is glitter paper. It doesn't take adhesive well, so that's where we're going to make it now so it has time to sit and um, dry. 
so it won't slide around. Now on my sample, I did pop up that white piece, but I just glued it straight down today. It's up to you. And then I'm gonna cut that little ball and glue that on as well. And then the final touch will be adding his hat on. So you could pop up his hat too if you wanted or just glue it straight on. I think I'm just gonna glue it straight on. And then one thing you could do is, you know, his eyebrows are puffy, but you can't, they're the same color as his face. So you could take a white pen or a white colored pencil. I'm gonna try this gel pen and try to whiten it up a little. And you can kind of see it, a very small detail. I'm gonna set him off to the side to dry while we put together the rest of this tag. So we're gonna start with this green snowflake paper. And it is just gonna go centered on the bottom. So have an even border. And then we have red, and we have the one that says Merry Christmas is gonna go at the bottom. Now, on my tag, I cut banner ends, but the ribbon covers it anyway, so you can leave it straight. You can, um, you could cut them at an angle. It's really up to you. I think I'm just gonna leave these straight. And so we'll put the red on. And the black. Let's see, so I, I know that this is tricky here with this ho, 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 because it just fits, all right? And it's really meant to sit on top of Merry Christmas. So I think that my suggestion would be, I cut the black too big on purpose uh, so that you could put it on and shave it down to get the size that you want, because each, this was cut out of a three by four card, so they aren't all um, exactly the same size. I just tried to get as close as I could. So, you know, getting a piece exactly the same for each kit would have been hard. So that's why I gave you one too big, and so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the ho 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 onto the black, and I'm giving them real skinny, skinny border. So if you're brave, you can use scissors or you can use a trimmer. Big, long, straight edge scissors. I'm feeling brave. Okay. So there's that. And I know that's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna use that kind of as a guide. So then my Merry Christmas really should match up with the bottom of that green and then the ho, 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 you can either have it sit on top or behind, okay? I know that's super confusing, it was in class, but um, it's just the way. So let's see, you can see here it's a little bit more than it's right around a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna put the red down like so. And then I'm gonna put the black, but I'm only gonna put adhesive on the left side. And I'm gonna line it up to the edge with the bottom of the green, okay? But now I can tuck in my ho, ho, ho if I need to, okay? So now, Got my black border 
and mine is going to fit. Now, this is a tag. It goes on a package. If you want your ho 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 to hang off the edge, you can totally do that. I mean, that that's fun too if you want to just avoid this whole mess I'm talking about. That's fine. Or I'm going to sit it just on top and it's still going to poke up. So we're just going to have a poke up. I'm not going to put adhesive all the way to the edge. The other option is to leave the black off altogether and it'll fit perfect, but um, I felt like it, it needed a little oomph. So I'm going to tuck mine behind. And then it matches right up with the top. Maybe. Centered over Merry Christmas. There it is. And then it'll be tucked behind. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the adhesive there. All right, so we have our ho 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 on there. And my, this Santa is a little bit longer in the face than that one. So you can see you can definitely bring up the beard and make him look a little different. So, and then I'm just gonna glue him straight. Well, I'm not gonna glue him straight on. I'm gonna put him on there on some foam. And the uh, little Santa Claus right there. All right. Okay, this is going to go over that. So now it's up to you again. This one is not going to cover it up completely. You're going to be able to see that red, but with the ribbon, it might not be a big deal. Or if you can get your fingernail, undo works too, if you have some undo. That one doesn't want to come up so easy, so I'm just going to... Some of them come up real easy. I will tell you, when I ordered these tags, they said they were white tags with white reinforcement circles, and then I got them, and they are cream tags with like a reddish brown reinforcement circle, but we made it work. All right, so see, so you can barely see that. I'm gonna put my ribbon through there, tie a knot. And then finish the ends, which I have already done on this ribbon for some reason, but this one looks a little rough now that it went through the hole. So I'll fold it in half. Finish those up. All right, and that tag is complete. All right, next we have Noel. there. All right, so we have this and this. That's going to cover the tag. Now, so we have an even border all the way around. We are going to need to, oh wait, I don't want to do that yet. Hold on a second. The beauty of an ATG gun is that you can just rub it off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of place it where I want it, and then you're going to need to take a straight edge of some kind. I'm just going to use this paper here, okay? This is where I want it to be. I'm going to take this straight edge. I'm just going to show you how I do it, and see, now I've got that like a pencil. All right, so I have it where I want it. It's not glued down yet, because I need to make this cut. I'm gonna take a straight edge and a pencil. Line it up, I'm just gonna draw it. Draw a line, 
and trim. Okay, now I have it where I want it on that side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. For this one, I'm gonna make sure I cut off that. Alright, so I cut both my edges so they match here. Uh, I'm going to try to get this off. See, that one came off nice and easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. But before I do that, I'm going to put down the black first because I think that the black. Okay, so I have the black down and now I have that all trimmed up and then I'm going to place that over the black. All right, so now we have this die cut. I was looking for my poker, but there's a few pieces I need to poke out. So this is gonna go right across the tag. And you can go all the way across, or you can go right, you know, if you want to measure it and make a mark like so. And then put it in your trimmer and cut it nice and straight. That's what I'm going to do. Or you, or you can just have it go all the way across if you want. I'm going to put a thin bit of adhesive and put that border down right up against the Noel. Oh my goodness. All right, so now our trim's on. So now we're gonna layer up our flowers. These are Lawn Fawn stitch poinsettias. I'm just gonna take them and kind of fold on that and a perforated line there just to give them some dimension. You could roll them with a, a stylist and, and all that if you want. Okay, so I have those shaped up a little bit. I'm gonna do the same with the, the leaves gently because it, it really is a perforated line and they will rip. So if you're, that's why I don't really like to use a shaping tool on these because it tends to rip out the marks. Okay, so we're gonna layer them up. So we have one really large poinsettia and we're gonna put this medium one on there and we're gonna offset the petals. Oops. And we're gonna put another one on there and offset those. And then you have these flower centers. So on this big flower, we're gonna use a large one and a small one. And again, I will offset those. go. Oh, see what I was talking about? This is the glitter paper. It takes a while for that glue to dry. I'll set that off to the side. Okay. Off 
Offset the petals. And the center, this one's just gonna get a small flower center. All right. I'm gonna give those a few minutes to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and punch my hole, which I didn't do. So I'm gonna flip that over, line it up, punch the hole. All right, and so I'm gonna put on that reinforcement circle. And I have chosen, there's black or red. I'm gonna use the red, or the, it's like a deep red, a burgundy. And then we're gonna layer the flowers and the greenery. So I have the big flower on top or on the bottom. So we'll start with that one. Then this flower up here, and then we'll just tuck in the, the leaves. We'll be good. There's one, two, and three. All right, so finishing touch will be tying the bow. We're just gonna put the ribbon through and tie a knot, finish the ends. That tag is finished. Next tag is no peeking, and this is a cute little, it holds a gift card, so you can slide a gift card in and out of there if you want. So, and then you have these little, they're for your holly leaves, and you can choose to use them or not. Some people don't like fussing with them. I'm going to Pull this circle off, so we're going to cover it, and then your paper is going to have a hole in it probably, so we're going to put that on the bottom because we're going to cover it up anyway. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and just, cover that with glue, put the paper on top. And you want it to go to the very tippy top. And then we will trim off the excess. All right. Punch the hole. So that part is done, and then we're going to work on our little pocket. So you have this red on, and green on one side, so if you want to do the green, you could definitely do the green. Let's stick with the red. And we are going to, there's score lines, we're going to reinforce those on three sides. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold your paper out like this, and I don't know if you can see those score lines. I'm gonna cut just like so. So I'm gonna do it again. Okay, and so now when we close that in, it's gonna allow your pocket to close. So I'm going to put glue, on our packet and if you're going to use wet glue you, you want to be careful because you don't want to glue your pocket or your um, pocket shut I don't have score tape with me or that's probably would be my choice but I'm gonna start with the bottom so it's lined up Then we'll 
fold those in. And there's our pocket. Score tape is much easier than wet glue. Not as messy. Thank goodness we're going to be covering that up. Okay. So now you have this is a cut apart. Um, it says December 25th. And I'm going to take my scissors and trim. And I'm going to leave the black, just a little bit of the black. You can cut it right up to the white if you want, but it looks like you matted it if you just cut and leave some of the black. All right, and that is going to go right there. And I did pop it up. So the December 25th is going to go right on the center of the pocket. All right, I'm going to set that aside for a minute and we're going to build up our little no peeking tag. So you should have three hollies, three berries, and these three little strips. Now you can opt not to use these. They are the veins in the holly. You can skip it and it'll be just fine if you don't want to fuss with it. Um, I'll show you what I did on mine. I'm going to flip them over to the, so the green showing. And I made mine black. Now this die um, cuts all of them at once. The berries, these little strips, which is why I didn't cut them out of black. But this paper was double sided, so it worked out great because you can color those, flip those over, and you're good to go. So I made them black, and then I just use a little distress ink, some black soot. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it and just put it right down the center. So now we are going to layer up the little holly berries like so. so I'm happy with that one there. Right, and then I'm going to put two berries down and pop one up. One, two, and then this last one I'm going to put a piece of foam behind. Oh, I think I'm going to have to cut that down. on top. Okay. And then before I put that on there, let me put my reinforcement and you can choose green or red. I think I'm going to go for the red. And then on this tag, so you can stick it on there, which I decided to do. Or it can hang and you could write on the back of it. But if it if it, for picture's sake, I went ahead and just um, glued it on there. So I'll leave that up to you. If you want the option to be able to write on the back of it, then you don't want to stick it down. You do have the whole back of your tag to write on as well. So, And then on this one, I put it through. Make sure it's not twisted. And I'm just going to grab them together and tie a knot. So there is no peeking gift card tag. Next one is happy holidays to you. All right. think what we'll do is start by layering up these 
gifts. And this is a tailored expressions die. And because this is double-sided paper, um, we may use one side or the other. So you should have the presents. Now, on these smaller presents, I don't know if you can tell or not, but they are layered. So on, on these, they've already layered. So you'll want the side with the layer up. That should help you to know which side to use. And then on these, we're going to use the black side and the green. Now, this red doesn't really match, but if you like it, you can absolutely, I mean, it matches the whole line, but not this particular tag. So if you want to use a bright red, you absolutely can. So I'm going to start. This is black on one side, green on the other. Or not green, that's red. And I'm going to glue down the, so I can see red, onto the tall green present. Okay, there's one. And now we're going to do the black with the tall, skinny green bow. Actually, there we go. All right. Then we need this short green and this one that's red on one side green black on the other so we're going to use the black this time okay then we have this red one and we need a tall green tat or bow And then we have green, and we're going to flip this one over and use the red. All right. And the final one will be the green onto the black. And then let's see. We will go ahead with the tag. And so I'm going to my finger under there, see if I can get that off. Because you have the two in the from on the bottom. There we go. And that is going to line right up to the top. Okay. So. All right, so I got my paper on, and now I'm going to punch the hole. All right, so that part is done. And then we should have, oh no, this one does not have a reinforcement circle because the tag is gonna go there. We're gonna pop this piece up. It's gonna go on our tag, and we'll make sure that it's centered under the Okay, and then that tag I also popped up. All right, so that is gonna go right over the hole, centered at the top. Perfect. And now we're gonna layer up our presents. So the green present and the black are both on the ends. So I'm gonna start with those and they're glued straight down. There's one. Two. All right, and then you have the black and the green, and they are both popped up. So I just put one foam dot on the back of each so we can. Tuck this one this way, and this one this way, and then this little, or actually it's the red one. Go 
in the center. And then this little gift is going to go down here and I'm going to glue that one straight on because it might be hard to write on it if it were popped up. Okay. All right, that tag is finished except for the bow. So we are going to just string that through and we're going to tie a knot like we did on the last one. So bring them together. And tie a knot. And that tag is finished. Next is making spirits bright. All right. So on this one, I inked the papers. Um, I think I'm going to skip that step and see what it looks like. Because I wasn't, I don't know, I don't know why I did it, but I did. Um, so these strips are going to go like so. One, two, three. So the ones on the outside are going to need, I'm going to get them where I want them. They're going to need trimmed again. So I'm going to use the straight edge. And this one's a little thinner. So there's one. This one. Okay. Cut and cut. Perfect. All right. So we're going to glue those down. Before I do that, let's see if I can get that off. Another good way to get it off is your X Acto knife. You can get under it. Some of them are really glued on there and some come right off. All right. Not up the bottom. Go. And the green. Took a little bit more off of that one. Okay. All right, I have those on there. I'm going to punch the hole. And it looks like in my kit, I don't have the reinforcement circle or I have misplaced it. That's okay. We're just going to go for it anyway. All right, so this Making Spirits Bright is going to go up towards the top of the tag and over a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. It lines up with the edge of the tag. I'll pull it down a little bit so I have room for my uh, lights. So then you have these light bulbs. So you should have a black light, a green, another black, and a red. And then they each have these little white pieces that go on the end. So I'm going to put those on.
All right, so those are on there. And now what we're gonna do is kind of line them up where we want them. I've got a black there, I've got a red going here, and a green. So what I'm gonna do is put a foam, a couple foam pieces behind each one, because I have them popped up. And I'm just gonna place them right where I want them. And I'm not really putting the foam on that little end where we put the white stuff, because that's where we're gonna tuck in the twine. Then you have this long piece of twine here. And I'm gonna start with it right here. So I'm gonna put some glue right under that and stick that guy there and press down and hold for a minute while it dries. And then I'm just gonna kind of play with where I want it to go. And I have it kind of going behind here, which I still have time to do that, so I'm going to trim, tuck, like so, and then I can trim that a little bit off. All right, so there's one, and then down here I'm going to do the same thing. So I really have them, you could have it come off and then go however you want to do it. We could have it do something like that. Okay, which is what I am going to do. So I'm going to put glue underneath, push and hold, glue underneath. And I'm going to give a little slack so that I can play around with what the loop does. All right, so there it is. And then you can just put a tiny dot of glue like where you want, if I want that to stay down, or you can just let them run loose. It's just crochet thread and it'll let you do pretty much whatever you want with it. So if you wanna put a little loop can do that. All right, so that is that. And then I did take a white gel pen and kind of put highlights on them. Kind of the finishing touch. I'm going to trim that off. Tie the twine. We'll do the same thing. Put the bow in. I don't have my reinforcement circle, but I can go back. Just tie a knot. And that tag is finished. All right, our next tag is Be Merry. Okay, so let's see where to get started here. I'm actually gonna start with the little penguin. We need to color him, and I just use Crayola coloring pencils. Because we just need to color his scarf. So I'm gonna color in the red lines. 
So you can really use whatever is your preference. This doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And I'm going to put a little pink on those little circles on his cheeks. And then I'm going to use this color here for his beak and his feet. And if you want to add a little dimension, you can grab the gray and just kind of outline his belly. It just gives the illusion of a shadow. Just enough. And that's it. That's all we did for that. And then we're going to fussy cut that. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, my little guy's cut out. I can build the rest of the tag. One thing we're going to do is cut out this Be Merry. It's not the right color of red for me, so I'm not leaving any red. I'm just cutting right up to that white border, or the white line. It's not really a border, but I'm not leaving a border. All right, so I'm going to cut that away. And then you should have a chunk of red in your kit, and I'm going to glue this down, and then I'm going to cut around the mat, kind of like we did on the no peeking tag, but it was already there. So we're just going to give it a nice little border. There it is. Okay. We are going to put this piece on like so. So we need to center it and then get our lines on there where we want them. Make that match. Need a pencil. both of those. Okay. I'm going to peel that off. All right, so that is on there. I'm going to punch the hole. And put my reinforcement circle around. And I'm going to use the red side. have this strip of black snowflake paper and then we're going to need it to I should have put that on before I trim that we're going to need it to match there we go Put some glue down Okay, there is that. And then we have the Be Merry. So you can pop, I'm not gonna pop that up because I'm gonna pop up my tur or my turtle, <laughs> my penguin. So I will put that piece down. Kind of using him as a guide so I know that it all fits on the tag. There we go. Pop up my little penguin. All right. 
right, and we're going to finish with ribbon. Through, tie a knot. I finish the ends. All right, that tag is finished. Next, we have warm and cozy. Whoops. All right, so we have this beautiful embossed paper here. Put it on. I tore off that reinforcement tag and then I'm going to line it up at the top, not worried about the bottom. Center the pattern on there. All right, and then we'll trim off the excess. All right, there is that. Now we have this strip of paper that is going to go this way, so we don't want that hole on there. Actually, I wonder if yours is already trimmed off. I'm going to trim mine so that it's two inches, and then I'm just going to stick that on the bottom. Trim off the excess. the warm. Well, let me punch the hole so I can see what I'm doing here. Right, so now we're going to put that warm and cozy and I have it glued straight down. And just off to the side a little bit. And then these cute little gloves and the trim. So you want to make sure you have two different gloves. You don't want them to be looking like you got the same gloves for the same hand. Okay. Get my, you're going to match up that trim. The short side is on top when you're putting this on the gloves, if that helps. All right. And then I have one there, and he is glued straight down, and the other one is on foam. That may be too big. Let's try this one. And then we also have a very small piece of, and I use tape on this. So I'm going to get a piece of scotch tape, and on the back, I'm going to glue that twine and do the same thing on the other one. Pull that off first. Then I'll put that back on. All right. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this one, and that one is sticky. Just like so. And if you want to glue that in place, you can. You can let it hang. I think I'm going to glue it like that, and it should stay. Put my reinforcement circle on. Use the green. And we'll finish with the ribbon. This one's so cute. So I'm going to put the ribbon through and just tie a knot. And you 
you can finish the end. So I'm going to fold them in half. Cut. And there it is, warm and cozy. That one is finished. Next one, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All right, we're gonna start with this holly pattern paper. And it is gonna go right in the center, bottom of the tag. And then we have a red frame and the Merry Christmas. So I'm going to just put a little, my glue quits bubbling, then a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna put it around the Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Okay. Try not to glue it to my table. There we go. And then that piece is going to sit off the edge there like so. So I'm going to put that there. And I have mine down towards the bottom. So I'm just going to line up that black like so. Trim off the excess. Very nice. And then if you can get that off, I'm going to try to see if this is an easy one or not. Oh, yeah. That one peeled right off. Okay. I will put the green one on. Then on this one, I'm going to put the ribbon in and just tie a big bow. You could tie a knot at the top if you wanted it to hang. All right, there it is. Fiddle with your ribbon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. You can always bling up these tags. These tags toward the end are really um, quick, kind of showing you how to use your paper pad. Um, but you can always add some like glitter to where all the berries are. It'd be really cute. Dress it up a little bit. Next one, Joy. Come out of there. All right, this one is going to be very simple. Put this on. See if I can get that off. All right, and it's going to go right down the center of the tag. Trim off the excess. All right, and then the word joy is going to go across the bottom. And I'm going to tie a bow in this one as well. And there 
There it is, joy. Next tag is jingle all the way. Got some snowflakes there. Let's see if I can get that off. Okay. All right, we're going to start with one of these pieces is going to go at the top. So we're going to mark our cuts. Oops. have the jingle all the way. We're going to leave a little border and then we have this last bit. Also leave a border in between and then this one we're going to add, oh, I got to cut the hole. So we put on the snowflakes and the reinforcement circle. I am going to just tie a knot with this twine. And trim the edges. This twine likes to fray. All right, jingle all the way. That one's finished. And we have one more tag. One more, if you're still with me, one more tag. This one is super easy as well. So we're going to start with putting this black, let's see it here, the black glitter paper on both ends. Okay. Oops. Start there. There's one. Give that a second to dry before I cut it. All right. I will trim those. All right. And then we have this. Merry Christmas to you. That's going to go right down the center. And you're just going to have a very thin black border. I'm actually going to trim a little bit more. I think I want to see more of that black. Why not? There we go. All right, so we're going to put that right on. It's going to get cut right to the edge. All right, we're going to line up the bottom, make sure the border is even on both sides. Okay. Cut off the excess. And we are going 
going to cut or punch our circle, our hole, add our reinforcement tag, our reinforcement circle. All right, we're gonna finish with our tag. Or our, man, I'm, see, this is a long video, must be done. We're gonna finish with our ribbon. So what we're gonna do is take the black ribbon. We're gonna take our black ribbon, put it through, and then we're gonna lay this over it and we're gonna tie a knot. It's really not that hard. You're gonna lay that down and simply tie a knot. There we go. I'm gonna even up the ribbon, tie a knot, and then I'm gonna tie a bow. There it is, I will trim up the ribbon and finish off these ends. All right, we did it. We made all 12 tags of Christmas. That's lots of fun tags for all your packages this year. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.